Hello, everyone. The story of Simon of Cyrene carrying the cross of Jesus as related in the Gospel of Mark is quite remarkable for both its brevity and its content. It's conveyed in a single verse in Mark, chapter 15, verse 21. I'll read it. And they compelled a passerby, Simon of Cyrene, who is coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross, period. So Jesus is on the way to crucifixion, and we have this one verse. Even more remarkable is that his sons are mentioned by name, Alexander and Rufus. It seems clear that they ended up part of the Jesus movement, since the author mentions them as if his readers would readily recognize their names. There's also evidence that Rufus, one of the two sons, is a Roman citizen. As I related in the first video of this series on the ten Jerusalem tombs and the tales they tell, there was an ossuary with the names Simon and Alexander from Cyrene discovered in a tomb in the Kidron Valley in Jerusalem in 1941. It's one of the great overlooked discoveries related to our understanding of the early followers of Jesus. This comes from a fully provident site excavated and examined by competent Israeli archaeologists. We learn much about this family from the ossuaries and other evidence in the tomb. The ossuary is in a storeroom at Hebrew University, drawing little attention. You might think it would be in the Israel Museum on display with some of the other major ossuaries. Here is a photo collage of our visit there in 2005 with the film crew headed by Simka Jakovovici. There are, of course, minimalists who will say, well, who knows if these are the father and son mentioned by Mark. But the correspondence is remarkable and the likelihood high. I've discussed this in detail in my book, The Jesus Dynasty. Enjoy these pictures, and please notice in the shot of the inside of the ossuary, there is significant organic material still left, even though it's been essentially cleaned out. And that material will yield itself to future DNA studies. So stay tuned for more on the tales that tombs tell.